Welcome back to The Medium. We've just entered the Neva Resort. Let's explore. It's a lot of whispering coming from this pile of bloody clothes. I just realized there's blood all over that shirt. What the hell happened here? Hello? Anyone? Thomas? You there? News information and practical advice for a modern lady. The Forefathers' Wells, a new literary bestseller by Joanna Chmielewska. Readers ask, experts respond. Ten sewing techniques for fashionable skirts. Too bad you can't really read the back. Eh. Wiggle it into place. There we go. Travel in style, travel in comfort. The Duckling, Polish Legends, The Dragon of Vaudeville Hill, I think that would be pronounced. Why do my teeth fall out? Page 7. Back to school, page 9. Puzzles and crosswords, page 10, and much more. Ooh. Hotel Neva plan. This place is quite large. Very, very large. It's lobby, reception, elevators, pool, a sauna, and day room. Oh, they have clocks for different time zones. London. That's interesting. I guess that's how they spell London in Polish. L-O-N-D-Y-N. Warsaw. And I can't read these. Mm, Moscow? Probably Moscow. And then I literally can't read the last one. sign-in book that's been doodled in a lot sinners be damned vote for pedro i <laughs> it took me a second to just be sure that said what i thought it said right there it says i am cat and uh well i think it's supposed to say i am cat and I'm licking my balls. I think is what it's supposed to say. It says I am cat and I liking my balls. Probably meant to say licking. <laughs> Either way, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus. The star of the Bolshoi Theater, VVN, the Neva Workers Resort. Someone's been here very recently. Hello? 
Thomas? <laughs> Somebody wants our attention. Easy, Marianne. It's just a good old fashioned haunted hotel. Calm your ass down and answer the bell. <laughs> Just want to point out this is 1999, so that flashlight would not be LED. It would be a good old incandescent, which means that its battery life would be very short. So really, someone has been here very recently. Need a key for that. Or bolt cutters or something, I suppose. Okay, haunted hotel. Haunted hotel. It's fine. Somebody wants to sign in. Pretty cheerful to me. <laughs> well, it's what I remember. Um, my friends used to call me by a different name. But I don't remember what it was. Your friends? Oh, yeah. I used to have a lot of friends here. Uh, but, but they're all gone now. Did something happen to them? Mm, uh, I don't really want to talk about it. That, that's okay. So, do you live here? All by yourself? <laughs> you wouldn't believe how boring it gets sometimes. I can imagine. This place must have been... Oh, yes. So busy. People coming and going. All the time. <laughs> Always someone to play with. Must have been nice. It was. Not anymore. So. Tell me. What happened? Uh, I remember. People stopped coming. Uh, only a few of them stayed. But they became very sad, very angry. They might hurt you. <laughs> Thanks. But I can take care of myself. Hey, I was wondering, have you seen... Marianne? <gasps> yes. Oh, would you play with me just for a little while? It, it, it's been so long since I played with anyone. Oh, okay. But I need your help first. Yes. Uh, yes! Uh, anything I'm looking can. for a man. Thomas. Do you know him? Uh, let me think. Uh, I've heard that name before. Uh, Take your time. Uh, oh, yeah. The second floor. We can look there. Come on. Hurry, oh, Wait. I can't go that way. Damn. I need to get up there somehow. Meet them on the second floor. It's interesting how everyone... Although we've only met two, but everyone we've seen in the... What is this? The afterlife, I guess? Or some sort of purgatory, I guess? More accurately? 
Everyone we meet in this purgatory is wearing a mask. Our father was, sadness is. I'm assuming everybody will, although we'll see. What happens if I try to go up here? Is it just ah, invisible wall? Okay. Elevator. Might as well see if it works. Could maybe shock it into working. Oh, it just works. Like just normal works. Okay, hold on. I want to look around first. You have a resort that people's taste. Safest place for the youngest. Another groundskeeper's postcard. My dearest, I know I promised to visit, but guess what? I got promoted. Yes, really. Meet the new chief of staff. I really think this might be it. A fresh start. A place to call home. For us, I mean. You, me, the kids. I know it sounds crazy, but just think about it. Yours forever, F. Looks like that's everything. Let's head into the elevator. Up to one if we can. Sadness. I wished I knew her real name. Press and hold B for an out-of-body experience. <laughs> oh, okay. Sure. Let go. So what does that mean? Ah, it unlinks us. And if I press B, do we get linked back up? <gasps> yeah. So it unlinks us. So in... I guess I'll say the normal world, we just stay put and we let our purgatory self, astral project or whatever, be free and then we can go to areas that we in the normal world can't. Which means I can also do that on the stairs. There, a fuse box. Need some energy to spark it up. We need to suck up some energy. I think... I think so. Can't seem to do an energy blast right now. Gotta move fast. Do I need to move fast? Am I limited with how long I can have an out-of-body experience? Okay, well the energy's down. Out of body experience. Energy's down here. It's like taking a plunge into nothingness. Stay under for too long and it just pulls you in. Yeah, I'm disintegrating in this world. Oh. That's a bit disturbing looking. I don't think I'm gonna make it. <laughs> I spend too long just looking around. Ah, 
Yeah. Wait, I didn't just die, did I? Oh! The out-of-body experience can be a very dangerous practice if used without caution. Be sure to return to your body before your soul fades away. I, I literally just died. I, I thought it would just return me. Like, I thought I was just losing the energy to, like, to project myself. But no, I was just losing my soul. God. Okay. Sorry, Marianne. I didn't realize. Okay, Marianne. Now get your ghostly ass back and power up that elevator. Yeah, let's not die this time. Hold B to return to your body. Are they suggesting I need to return to my body? I thought I needed to shock it from out here. Or do I store that charge even after? Returning to my body. So now I can just do that at will. Oh no, I don't, 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 don't blast. Oh, uh, but yeah, it looks like I do store that charge. So I can return to my body as soon as I get the energy, I think. Now we're linked again. A to focus on the spirit world. Okay, makes it a little bit bigger. Right, I guess there'll be times when we need to um, examine things in one world and not the other. Or interact with it in one world and not the other. I guess that's why there's different button prompts for each world. X for the normal world. Right now it's big. A for the other world. Now it's big. Yeah. They're different because it depends which one you want to focus on. So far, there's almost nothing to examine in the purgatory world. It's pre pretty much can just focus 100% on the normal world. Until I need to, like, unlock something, maybe. The art of internationally acclaimed painter Richard Tarkovsky. For the first time in the Neva Resort. I can't read the bottom of that. Can't go down enough. So like now, if I wanted to go downstairs from here, I could just switch over. And I could just go. Yeah. So now I wish I wasn't in purgatory because in the normal world I can go up these stairs but in purgatory I can't and switching over obviously wouldn't help either I want to switch over the other way let's see if I can go to the third floor or second floor sorry she go?
What is that? <gasps> Just a bug. Don't worry about it. Okay, what's up with this? Okay. Not getting through here. What does that need? Does it need a key? Or something weirder? Can I... Spirit Blast it? Now I'm out of energy. <laughs> Hope I don't need to Spirit Blast something else. so pretty oh oh that's not good Fuck. holy shit I didn't even know I could do that they're really layering on the powers we have a lot of powers now we can focus we can project ourselves into our, like, spirit body. We can shield ourselves. We can, like, electroshock. Oh, there's the key we need for that other door. So it is just a kind of normal key for a kind of normal door. Hmm. <sighs> Ooh, they're very close. Let's get the hell out of this hallway. Ah, oh. God, they're so loud. Close the door, please. What you want. Ugh, that voice. I don't know why, but it gives me shivers. I'm gonna guess that's the voice of the person who shot the girl in the opening video. We didn't hear their voice in the opening video, so I'm not actually sure, but that would explain why it gives them shivers. And it sounds like this person is working for maybe a government agency or something like that like a, a rival government and they are infiltrating this place maybe they shot the girl because the girl figured out that, like who they were that they're a plant that they're a spy looks like the only way great I want to double check. There's nothing else interesting to examine in here. Of 
grief, loneliness. I've got nothing. I'm supposed to put something here. Memories of grief, loneliness. Maybe I put flowers here. An old prescription. I know these drugs all too well. This was in 1971. Ursula Anna Rostovsky, 41 years old, 53 kilograms, prescribed pipofezine and buspirone. So I googled those. Um, buspirone is still commonly used today. It seems to be a pretty common medication. I think it was like the 70s something most prescribed medication in the United States. Pipofezine, though, has a shockingly tiny Wikipedia article. It just says, um, pipofezine sold under the brand name Azafen or Azafen spelled a different way, is an antidepressant approved in Russia for the treatment of depression. It was introduced in the late 1960s and is still used today. Uh, and then it just says that it, it um, inhibits the reuptake of serotonin. And that's basically it. Uh, also has a sedative effect. Like, that's it. The article is like two tweets in length. For a medication, that is shockingly sparse. Anyway, uh, case history. Ursula Rostovsky diagnosed with depression, hysteria, insomnia, and malnutrition treated with electroshock. Oh, wonderful. Not wonderful. Horrible. Horrifying way to treat people with mental illness. In the spirit world, there's a cloud here of... of what? Can I... Hmm... Can I interact with this cloud? Not yet. Some objects soak up moments from the past. Just squeeze in the right spot and let it pour out. Ah, sunflower weary of time. For my favorite nurse. Oh, Mr. Tarkovsky, you shouldn't have. Please, it's the least I can do for all the good work you do around here. Huh. An actual happy memory. So there's more to this place than just doom and gloom. Ah, sunflower weary of time. Oh. Sorry, didn't mean to play that again. Do I need to get a sunflower then? Oh. Listen to the sound of the footsteps crunching over the glass. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that. Crunch, crunch. Shit, this is falling apart. Looks like I'm in for another dive. <laughs> Somebody scribbled come at me, Ursula, on the wall. Cut it, don't I? Ugh. Oh, God. I hate this.
Is that another memory that needs to be reconstructed? Oh, it's a... Oh, fucking... Jesus! Fuck, that really got me. Whoa! <laughs> I really got the feeling this game was more like sedate than um than this. I, I really wasn't thinking it would give me a jump scare. Holy shit. Is there a knife in the bottom of this literally bloody bathtub? Yep. This thing is a razor. It's guilt. Shame. Regret. I like the way everything looks otherworldly. Just, I don't know, it's hard to put into words how it looks. Weirdly organic? Almost like everything is kind of worn and rusted, but it, it's not like a normal rust. It's like an otherworldly rust. It's slightly biological, the forms? Like a little biological, kind of? Rather than chemical? Like rust actually is. It's like spiritual oxidation or something rather than actual oxidation. I need to return to my body pretty quickly. Hey, yeah, let's go back. It bleeds. No. I was hoping it would just be like leather. Yeah. That was disturbingly satisfying. <laughs> Post it on Reddit. You're there. Wish I had the strength to cut you out. You don't deserve to exist. You're nothing. There have been, but I was too afraid that a part of me would go on, trapped on the other side, forever. Sorry, I didn't mean to skip that first line from Marianne. I feel like there's going to be some content warnings to add to this playthrough. I feel like there's going to be a lot of self-harm. Well, there already has been mistreatment of people with mental illness. Ooh, sunflower. This could be useful. The light of a memory strong enough to defy this place. Butterflies. Your favorite, Marianne. Or used to be, anyway. You want me to read you another one, darling? Oh. Look at this mess. Don't worry, I'll clean you up in no time. I'm here for you, my love. This man, Tarkovsky, he ended up as her patient? Why does Ursula's tone sound sickly sweet? Like in a eerie way?
probably need to go put the sunflower back in here. Okay, now I'm charged, but I'm, I'm not actually sure where I need to use my charge. That answers that. I love a good spinning staircase camera. skin door. Has the knife been used up? No? Left to get through those bugs. Don't need to go that way yet, though. Wait, isn't this the hallway we were already in? Because that room, I think, is where we got the key. Yeah. Well, then I must go this way. This looks different in the spirit world. We haven't seen a place look like this yet. It looks like structures made by the insects or something. Like a bunch of old eggs or a nest or something or a hive. Child watching some person take something into a door. <laughs> Not very useful. It's called Old Man, so I guess it's an old man with white hair, it looks like. It looks like they're holding a tissue box, but it's probably something else. It's almost complete. The main building turned out better than expected. 
Now it's just a matter of finishing up the less obvious parts of the resort. God damn, this place is perfect. Remote, peaceful, hidden away from prying eyes. Talk about hiding in plain sight. It took some doing to convince them to let us stay. Luckily, I can be quite persuasive when I need to. Oh yeah, I think I finally got it. I'll call it Neva. Hmm. This is an oddly eerie note. I said trouble. It says troubled man's notes. But this sounds like it was written from the person who designed the place. Like, it's almost complete. Main building turned out better than expected. I don't know. They obviously worked here to some degree. Could they have been the... Was it Rekovitz? That designed the place? Built the place? Old invoices. Outdated documents. Wonder why someone put them out here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think the Troubled Man's notes are from the, the architect or the builder... Rekovitz, because it's signed at the bottom right. T. Rekovitz. And from that note, Rekovitz sounds like a very shady person. Reclaiming history. Fire erupts in the sky. Explosions echo across the wilderness. Sparks rain down on the ruins of Fort Puaski, a once impenetrable fortress that saw some of the most intense fighting during the 1945 offensive against Hitler's forces. This time, however, it was not bombs or mortar fire that lit up the night sky, but a spectacular display of fireworks that marked the grand opening of the Neva Workers' Resort. The event was attended by the leaders of the party, including the first secretary, who had this to say during the gala. Let this site of victorious struggle against the forces of evil become a place of respite for the working people of the Republic in times of peace and prosperity. Liberated in January 1945 by the heroic Red Army, the historical landmark is currently undergoing renovations and will soon be open to the public at large. The Neva Workers Resort will welcome its first guests by the end of June. Manager, huh? Marianne! Oh, sadness. We gotta stop meeting like this. I told you to follow me! Take it easy, sad. This place is huge. It's easy to get lost. Just, just stick with me. Okay. I'll stick like a tick. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> This, Thomas Rekovich. What? Oh, right. Listen, hon. You said you remembered someone named Thomas. Was it Thomas Rekovich? Was he the manager here? I, uh, I guess. You think he stuck around? I'm not sure. There was an old man here. Very recently. I think. Oh. And you think it was Thomas? Oh, I don't know. Old men all look the same, all wrinkly and old. Blood. I know, right? Hey, that's not very nice. <laughs> well, if he's still around, I've got an infestation to report. Marianne! Uh, I feel... Oh, uh, I don't think we should be here. It's okay, Sadness. Look, there's no one... here. Sadness? It all hit me as soon as I entered the room. Anguish. 
fear, longing. Looks like their desk has been cleaved in two, right down the center. I could instantly tell there was more to that clock than met the eye. Ah, uh, locked. Grand opening, I assume. Hey, is that the first secretary? They must have had some big plans for this place. Horrifying picture, they all look like ghosts. Ooh. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, uh, figures. There's gotta be a way to power it up. Electric shock? I don't have any power right now, looks like. What the hell happened here? Burn marks? Broken glass and... Is that salt? And butterflies. Someone jotted this down recently. To-do list. Three in the morning, get up, don't turn off that alarm clock. 3.15 medication. 3.30, double check the forest path. 4. Get to the hotel, clear out the old papers. 5. Get on with the research. Develop photos if there's time. 7. Double check the office. Books. 9. Check up on L. Who's L? I guess we're going to be using our knowledge of how to develop photos to develop some more photos someone else's. I'm glad we'll be revisiting that, because that was fun. And not that it was, like, terribly involved or anything, but, I don't know. It's fun to develop photos. My deep knowledge of developing photos, such as f expose it to the light for five seconds, and then dip it in three different solutions for three seconds each. See, I'm a real photographer. I've never developed actual photos in my life, by the way, if you can't tell. <laughs> That's probably why I find it so exciting. My senses jolted as I touched the phone. I could tell it had been used recently to call me. This is where that call came from, huh? It still works. Someone's been using it. Oh, I love how that looks. It's so pretty. Flecked with rust. Too small to fit a door. Hmm. Mm, that's gotta be for the clock. Oh, the flashlight's just on now. Cool. Oh, this game is so pretty. It's so pretty. There we go. That's as far as it goes. Oh, I'm turning back time in the other world. There. An imprint. Is that... Hold on. As I moved the clock hand, I realized it was a junction between realities. It's yeah. rare, but I'd seen it before. Am I supposed to leave it there and then... Is it... Yeah, it's still there. No. Don't do it. I can't. We must. That might have been them reaching for the phone. Was that when they called us? Wait. I 
can feel something's wrong. It's coming. dive. Oh, gotta check the wiring. Might hate to get stuck in there. A spirit well. I could absorb some of that energy. That's as far back as I can go. Let's leave it open in the spirit world. Let's see if we can open in the normal world. Uh, right. We need to shock it. It doesn't exist in the spirit world though, right? So I don't think that actually did anything. No, hold on. I think we need to project ourselves. Someone tried real hard to keep this place a secret. Wonder what's in here on the other side. Whoa. What happened here? Like, where I'm standing? Looks like a summoning circle almost of some sort. There we go. Let's see if it worked. Okay. Let's get the rest of me in there. Uh, uh, I'll never get used to this. Are we trapped? Shit! Sadness? This isn't funny! Sadness? Keep it together, Marianne. Let's see what's in here. Nope. Doesn't work. Projector? Ugh. I hate to think what kind of photos need this much secrecy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I know how this works. I need three liquids to develop the photo. Don't forget about the red light. Light five seconds, time in each tray three seconds. Yeah, I'm an expert, I know. Looks like there's a tray missing. Assume there's a photo on that. That's one. Two more to go. Suppressing, huh? Not sure I like the sound of that. That's probably what was happening on the desk. Um, with the salt and the explosion and all of that, and this, like, summoning circle of some sort. Like, they were trying... Uh, Thomas was 
trying to, I guess, suppress the supernatural. I could sense something stirring behind that symbol, like a gust of wind moving a curtain. It's getting stronger. I can feel it seeping through, creeping into my mind. It wants out. It cannot get out. I won't let it. Even if it means... No. I'll find another way. <sighs> Hope he's not using it as a textbook. Hammer of Witches. This should come in handy. Oh, look at that shadow of that plant on the wall. Beautiful lighting. I know it's been a thing forever in games at this point, but good looking dynamic lighting just never ceases to amaze me. It's so pretty. Just looking the sh at the shadows and the light playing on everything. Just gorgeous. Okay, that's all of them. And the first one goes... The developer. Wait. Wait, none of them are called developer. Hold on. Multigrade says, first step. Fixer is the last step. Stop is the second. Okay. Multigrade, stop, fixer. Is that a photograph of you, Marianne? Hmm. 